Uh, let's review. Looking at our DraftKings expert Steve Buchanan's Wednesday picks. One and two. Let's rock Steve Bukes. You and me together on a Friday. You were sick of them, weren't you? It's okay. Mm, okay. Yep. <laughs> I, 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 I caught some people. I caught some people. And okay, now. You don't go easy on him one and two and you say let's rock safe. I'm being kind. <laughs> Kindness is a new thing to our guy Robert. Mets and wow. Phillies Bassett and Nola. What are we thinking in terms of runs? Yeah, I like the game total to go under seven and a half runs tonight. You're getting that at even money. These teams have played each other 15 times already this season. The under has gone eight, six and one in those games. Don't forget these teams just met last week. A total of a whopping 10 runs were scored in those three games combined. Pitching was at a premium and that's what we're getting here again tonight. Nola has faced the Mets already four times this season. 2.96 ERA with a 196 average against them. Chris Bassett against the Phillies three times. 1.08 ERA, 180 average against them. These guys have been stellar against each other. Give me under seven and a half runs tonight. Mm, Mets get the Phillies this weekend and then the Yankees. Raise your hand if you had Cleveland leading the Central. You like them against the White Sox? What do you think? Certainly did not, but I like them to win this game tonight on the money line at minus 130. The Guardians have thrived as home favorites this season, going 29 and uh, 21 and 9 in that scenario. Tonight they're facing Lance Lynn, who they faced twice already with vastly different results. They tagged him for eight runs at home earlier this season, and then Lynn shut them out through six innings on the road. But Lynn has really struggled on the road. That's where he is here tonight. 7.46 ERA, 381 Wolver against them. And then let's talk about how great Tristan McKenzie has been, especially against this White Sox team. Two starts against them, 10 total innings, one run allowed by McKenzie. Give me the Guardians to win this one at minus one. Well, you convinced me. What about the Dodgers Marlins? 17 game lead out West Crazy. What do you got? Yeah. Absolutely wild, but I like the Dodgers here on the run line at minus one and a half at minus 125. The Dodgers are the second best team on the run line in all of Major League Baseball going 73 and 44. That's good for 62% of their games. Miami near the bottom of the league on the run line covering in only 45% of their games. The Marlins have played 16 games this month. They're averaging 2.1 runs per game. They scored a total of 34 runs in the month of August. That is the lowest in the league. They really struggle against lefties, only hitting 209 against lefties. That's the lowest in the league. Facing Tyler Anderson tonight. Give me the Dodgers to win this game by two runs. Take them on the run line, minus one and a half. All right, here they are. Look at your picks on paper, your Friday picks. You feel good about them? Yes or no? I feel a lot better about my picks than I do about Robert's clues. I will say that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Zing. <laughs> Robert, no, that's so well, that's, that's, that's that well played, Stevie. Yeah. That's, that's well good. played. That's a good job. Talk to you Monday. You're, you're you off a Monday show, by the way. <laughs> 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 the Stevie Buchs one, Robert zero. Robert, good take it away. Good stuff.